center renovation. Just a reminder what it looks like. This side of the building, this view, <clears throat> is referred to as the east side. So if I say that at all, this is what you want to think about. The east side is the back side. I'm sorry, the east side is the front side of the building there that you'll see from the parking lot. So if you were driving into the main parking lot, that's the east side. <laughs> Again, uh, just a reminder what the pool looks like, and we'll get into a lot more detail about that, but it does not look like this right now. It looks like a lot of dirt and cement, <laughs> but it's getting there. So we'll go through just the quick timeline. Uh, last time we all met, we were in the middle of the terrace dining that has since been completed. So we are uh, currently working on 2F, which is the lounge behind the closed door in the main hallway, and that is estimated to be completed mid-December. And at that point, they'll start working on the salon and the rest of the main hallway. While all that's going on, the wellness center has been plugging away. So that's been on a timeline since September of 23. And right now, we are about 81% complete this whole project. So we're slowly getting those numbers up, which is really exciting. Oh, we have the lounge and the salon, Sorry. all while the wellness center is being finished. On our way. This is just another little thing. We're actually about 86% complete. I don't know why that was the wellness center. Of the wellness oh, center, I'm sorry. So the wellness center is 86% complete. That's a really exciting number. Almost it there. Seems like it's been forever, but, but we're getting there. And just another reminder of what the plans look like. So we're going to go into a little bit more detail on that as well. All right. So you're going to enter right. from that space. So right now it's just a door that says construction workers only or something along those lines. As you enter into the corridor, immediately to your left, you'll find myself. There is another office in there, um, a beautiful big bathroom and then what we are calling our massage room. So that will be available for some different ancillary services that we utilize, including massage. As you keep walking down the corridor, you're gonna take another left into our locker room suite. So in that locker room suite, I know this was a hot topic last time, there are two showers that are also changing rooms. So those are shower changing room combos. Those do not have toilets in them. There is one shower room that does have a toilet. It's this one back here. And then there are two toilet only rooms. I know it sounds a little confusing, but once you get in there, it'll make more sense. So some of the rooms are combo, shower, toilet, changing space. Some are just bathrooms, which you could also change in. And then there's a couple that are just changing spaces. There are 21 lockers in that suite, which is more than we had before. So those of you who used our lockers, they were very small. There wasn't a lot of room. Um, most of our folks don't utilize the lockers anyways. You come down in your robe before you enter the pool, but they are there for your use. So from the locker room suite, there's a doorway that you can enter directly into the pool. And that will also be a walkway or an entryway to access the patio on the opposite side of the pool. So you can enter that way through the locker room, or you can come back out of the locker room into the corridor, and there's another door into the pool at the end of that hallway. So if you come in the main hallway, just like you used to, straight ahead, there's an entry right to the pool. So if you don't need the locker rooms, you don't have to stop there. Or you can go ahead and enter through our new wellness entrance. So that's on that east side of the building when you pull into the parking lot, a whole new entrance. In that space is a small, it's a vestibule. There will be um, a sign-in, uh, fob access, just like you would at the front door. Uh, there is um, a, a heat feature so that in the cold months, if those doors are open and you're in the wellness center, you won't get a rush of cold air kind of like the air curtain in our main entrance as well. And then from the main entrance, you can enter into the wellness center, which is consists of the fitness room, the classroom space, and then our gym space. So in order to enter the wellness center itself, the gym and the fitness studio, you have to go through that main entrance. <coughs> Through that space and the pool space, there are entryways to the patio. So whether you come through the gym 
or through the pool, you can access the patio on the outside. Questions? How big is the patio? Oh, yeah, that's that's not big. one on my list. <laughs> oh, write that down. It's fairly large. We do have a picture of it, so you'll get to see it. Now, the changing rooms, can you use any of the bathrooms to change, too? Yes, yes. Yeah, so there is, it, I know it seems a little confusing. We had two separate block rooms before, now it's one, it's co ed. Um, but there is a lot of privacy in them, too. The doors are pocket doors, they slide and lock, they show if they're being used or if they're vacant. Um, and there really, there really is a lot of individual space in there if you want to go in there and, and use that space to change, take a shower. You don't have to worry about your privacy or your dignity. It's, it's very well set up for that. And it looks very small here, but it's actually very spacious. There's a lot of walking space in there. All right, we're gonna move into the gym. This question, I'm gonna jump on question. Yes. Is it a salt water pool? It is not. It is not. I have some more details about that when we get back to the pool. So this picture looks really crazy, very overwhelming. Pay attention to none of the blue and red and all that stuff. This is really so you could kind of see the layout of the machines that are going to be in there. So as you enter through the vestibule into the gym, we have Kinga's office right here. I'll be there watching you. She has a very large window, so wow. she will be making yes. sure. <laughs> um, and then along the outside of the room is the different machines, including our new steps that we currently have and our treadmill, in addition to our new machines, which we'll talk about shortly as well. From this space along the back wall, so this would be the pool, the wall that's adjacent to the pool. There are floor to ceiling windows there, so you can see into the pool from the gym space, which is really nice, um, or vice versa. If you're in the pool, you can see into there, and then you would walk along that whole back wall right into the fitness studio where classes will be. So just a little preview on our equipment. <coughs> our um, we purchased four new uh, pieces of equipment. We have a video that we will be showing, but we do have a balance machine that will work both on cognitive and motor functions. So it's going to help you with um, exercises like fall prevention and help with brain and muscle communication, help those work better together. To save space, we purchased a um, multi-machine, so it has five different exercises. You are gonna get your leg press on there. Um, let me refer back to my notes real quick. All right, so we have leg extension and curl. We have arm and shoulders, a push-up, pull-down, and then chest press exercises. So that will work all the muscles in your chest, your back, your biceps, your triceps, and we'll hit some of those core muscles and then hamstrings, hips, and calf muscles. So again, we're saving, saving lots of space with this one piece of equipment. Um, again, we'll go into this in the video a little bit more, but there is a digital screen that will allow you to switch between the exercises. It's gonna lock um, some notions so you can only work on a specific exercise. Let's say you want to work on your bicep curls It's going to lock all the other functions to help prevent injury as well um, Abdomen and back Hitting our core exercises the exercises in our stomach and our back which you all know I love so much and then a red press leg press which again will work more on hamstrings and our quads in this space, we will also have free weights. So those of you that like to just go in and... Oh, I thought it was really loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we will also have free weights in this space. Um, and right now in our current small wellness space, there's a bench. So I know some folks like to go in and just kind of do their own free exercise without using the machinery. We understand this can be very intimidating for somebody who's not used to using gym equipment. But the videos that we have um, will hopefully help to ease your mind a little bit and, and help you understand 
the benefits of these machines and why they're so great for this population. And they're very user friendly. So this is just going to tell you a little bit more about those machines. Training with traditional equipment can be intimidating and even harmful, especially to those with muscle weakness or recovering from injury or disabilities. Welcome to Her Smart Touch, an innovative strength training and management solution that combines elegant pneumatic strength, balance, and cardio equipment with an easy-to-use software platform. For over 30 years, Her has been removing strength training obstacles and promoting lifelong strength with over 15 installations across clinical and wellness models. For trainers and therapists, Smart Touch saves a great deal of time with training templates, automated progression, and seamless progress tracking, allowing you to effectively manage a larger client base and spend less time doing paperwork. For clients, HERS Smart Touch RFID technology removes all guesswork by auto-loading their training program, starting at near zero resistance, and tracking power and range of motion. It adjusts with the touch of a button and auto increases resistance based on overperformance. And Smart Touch is also included with HERS accessible line of equipment. For owners and operators, Smart Touch allows you to view data and measure wellness goals as well as set a standard of care across multiple locations. With HERS Smart Touch solutions for management, wellness teams, and clients, your business has the tools to overcome the barriers of traditional strength training equipment enabling a scalable wellness program that delivers documented outcomes to effectively manage your population's health. Contact her today and begin your journey for lifelong strength. So that was a lot of information in a little space. Yes, Cheryl? So when it says scalable, so let's say you're doing an exercise and it's set in the machine and you improve to the point where you need to step it up a little bit. How does it So the machine, <clears throat> the machine has sensors, which is a really cool feature. So it's going to notice when the exercise is no longer challenging you. So it's automatically going to adjust to what you need to do, whether it's increasing resistance or increasing the amount of repetitions you need to do. It's all going to happen automatically. It's very cool. So it's going to save us a lot of time. Um, so pneumatic resistance, it runs on air pressure. The machines are hooked up to an air compressor. So there's, it's gonna be very quiet. No weights clunking against each other, which is another really nice feature. Um, and the air pressure technology allows the machines to mimic our muscles' natural movements. So again, a lot less risk for any injury. Um, the smart touch technology that they were talking about, that's the screen. And on there, you're going to be able to see what muscles you're working, what motion you need to go through. If you yourself feel like you're ready to increase that resistance, you're going to be able to do that with just a little tap um, or decrease it. Um, but it's also going to help us be a lot more efficient when we first open. We're going to be dedicating a lot of time for one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you're interested in, interested in using this equipment, we will develop a program for you using the technology from the machine, um, making just the right training program that is best for you. So, And they're, they're very user friendly. So your fob that you use to get in the building, to unlock your apartment, that is how you access the machine. So be able to walk into the gym, sit down on the machine, swipe your fob, and it will come up and say, welcome Cheryl, here's your exercise program. So it saves everything for you. So if you do a one-on-one -on -one, um, and then we set it all up for you, it's already there. So you can go in and go through your routine. You can change it. The cool piece about it is that it also tracks. So you can see your own progress. We can print out a little report and it shows us you know, how you've progressed, uh, what muscle groups you've been working on and things like that. So it's also good for data for us too to see you know, how are we helping you prevent falls? How are we helping you to stay safe? and strong uh, while you're here. So it's very, uh, it, it looks very overwhelming, but it's very user friendly. Yes, Pat? Um, will the new gym uh, pool still be available for staff to use as well? So Pat's question was, will the new pool and gym be available for staff? 
So right now we are in the works behind the scenes of um, looking at our pool policy and what we currently have set in place. We do plan on allowing for guests or staff, um, but the details of that are still in the works. So as we get closer to the opening, we'll, we'll be able to share that with you. Megan, you have a thing to add? Okay. <laughs> And that's the, that is the great part about this equipment. Because it's pneumatic, it runs on an air compressor. There's no weights. It really is um, equipment that can be used across the lifespan. So Pat, you could go in and get a great workout. Then Jay, you could go in and have an equally great workout because the machines are based on your own strength and your own body ability. All right, so again, just reviewing um, the few pieces of equipment you purchased. We have the abdomen. <laughs> abdomen and back machine, our leg press, our multifunction machine, and again that screen is going to allow you to very quickly and easily switch between exercises so you can go from working on your shoulders to working on your legs to working on your chest at just a little tap. Uh -huh. This is our favorite piece of equipment. So if any of you have ever been to an arcade with your grandchildren or seen Dance Dance Revolution, it kind of looks like that. So essentially what this machine does is it has a screen. And there's all different settings. So it's matching your mind ability with your muscle movement. So it's really creating that crossover from mind and body, which is super for preventing falls, um, just for keeping you sharp. We're going to talk about this a little bit more um, in the video here. Uh, and Cheryl, this, this question answer is for you. This machine also does have a scale that measures BMI and different things. So if you are somebody who is interested in um, tracking either your progress, your weight loss, um, how well you're doing in the gym, this machine can do it for you. It has that scale? It does. <laughs> did you know that? What we did, did not. That? We did not. We looked. At, we started looking into different scales. I know a lot of folks use our scales here. They're not super accurate. Um, they don't really give you a lot of information as far as how that correlates to your health and your actual functionability. So what this machine can do does have that feature. <laughs> Thank you. I did that. I will know that. <laughs> that is so bad. 
We're really excited about the equipment itself. Um, we're one of only two or three communities in the entire state of Massachusetts that will have actually have this equipment oh, really in their facility. Um, one of them is Fox Hill, which is out by Boston. I'm not sure if anybody's familiar, but it's a very similar type community, very active, independent living. So we're really excited to be able to bring this here and <coughs> utilize this for our folks. The software also comes um, with ready-to-use training programs and templates or questionnaires that will help me determine what um, is the best exercise for you. So if we want to work on fall prevention, it's going to have a set program for that. There is a program on there for treating um, high blood pressure with strengthening, type 2 diabetes, cardiac rehab, and then hip and knee rehab as well. So. I am personally very excited about that because it's going to help me be a lot more efficient. All right, so next we move into our fitness studio, our new exercise space. It is very, very spacious. Yes. Previously, you might have seen a number of chairs on there. We're not going to focus on that because I know we can go well over 40 in there. Um, but in here, we will have... Um, a nice big screen TV that we will always be live streaming our classes like we have been recently but also during the exercise class I'll have the TV on camera on so if you're in the back row and you're having a hard time seeing what I'm doing or Amber or Hannah you can just look above on the screen and follow along in real time so again very excited for that lots of um, beautiful daylight there yes the um, the back wall has a floor to ceiling mirror. Is it not on? Oh, yes. So that is the other piece. So, in addition to overhead sound with music and things like that, all of our instructors will have wireless microphones. So, you'll never have to worry about not being able to hear them. Very exciting. <laughs> Um, the, this space will also have a, a full bar along the wall, what we call a ballet bar, similar to our wellness grab space bar. now. A oh, grab bar. No alcohol. No alcohol in the wellness <laughs> center. <laughs> Unless we have a pool party, maybe. Um, but yes, and then there will be mirrors similar to how we have in our space now. Um, but this, this space from the outside does not look that big, but it is huge. Huge. It is so big, and I think with some of the pictures we're going to show, you'll be able to really get some excitement about how big the space is. As Kinga said, you know, before we talked about a specific number of chairs, different types of chairs, we will still be utilizing varying types of chairs, whether that means arms, no arms, yoga chairs if you're real advanced. But we will make sure that everyone at every level has what they need. So if there's, you know, if we need 20 chairs with arms that will that will be the case so each class if you need a certain level of or a certain type of chair it will be available to you i know there was a lot of questions before about there's only this many chairs of this kind um, we really want to make sure that we allow everyone at every level to succeed so that is the fitness studio. Oh, go back, go back. We're not ready yet. So, <laughs> so again, so this is the fitness studio. These are all floor to ceiling walls. I'm, I'm sorry, floor to ceiling windows <laughs> that will have manual shades on them uh, so that when the sun is hitting that side of the building, we will be able to close the shades so that, to reduce the glare. Part of the reason for the pitch of the roof, I know a lot of folks have asked about why is it shaped like that, was to allow for larger windows on the perimeter of the building to have the most amount of natural light in that space. Well worth it. Yes, bringing in natural light that we know can cause some visual issues as we saw once we opened the solarium, different times of year, the sun moves. Um, so we're very aware of that and making sure that any time of day that that space is utilized well. From the fitness studio in the back corner, you can head right on out to the patio. So the only way to access the patio though is through the pool or the fitness studio. There's no outside access because it's elevated. Ready? We're ready. A little bit of a sneak peek. So this was back in August. As you can see, um, it was not very far along. You can see all the framing, uh, the ceiling beams are up, but that was about it. And a reminder of our beautiful new pool and spa coming. 
and a little bit of a write about the pool setup. So, again, you'll walk in, you can enter through the locker room suite, through the main corridor, or through the wellness center entrance. The pool is in the same footprint it was before. It's a 20 by 40 foot pool. The ramp entrance is on this side of the pool, so you can enter down the ramp. And then it comes to the end of the pool where you can go into the pool. The pool depth remains the same, about four feet, a little over four feet. The ramp itself is about four feet wide. There is railings on both sides. So there is an option um, for a water wheelchair, or water walker. Although the way that it's designed is that once you get to a certain point, the buoyancy of your body takes over and there's not as much of a concern for balance. So you may not need those even if you utilize a walker on a normal basis. In the pool itself, there's also railings on the opposite side for different types of exercise or if you're a walker. Um, now I know that the ramp being four feet wide sounds really big, but it does allow for about two full lanes if you're a lap swimmer. There is still plenty of room in the pool itself. Uh, the pool temperature is going to be about 84 to 86 degrees and it is chlorine. So the way that our pool system works, it is self chemicalizing as a very specific term there um, because it is actually against a lot to dump chemicals right into the pool. So we don't want to cause anybody any skin issues or burns, anything like that. So the pool itself um, is chemicalized through a system that is down in the very basement, working its way up. Um, I have lots of, huh? The spa, yes, we're gonna get to the spa. So this spa is very big. We don't have tons of pictures of it because they just started pouring the concrete. But the spa itself um, has stairs, two stairs to enter here with a center railing. It also has walls along the side so that if you can't not utilize the stairs, you can sit on the wall and put your feet over into the spa. It does fit about six people. It looks bigger than that, so we may be able to get more in, but they really wanted to allow it to kind of be a, a social area as well for folks kind of winding down from a swim or from exercise, and that is also chlorine. The temperature of that is 103 is the max, so that there's no burns. Um, <laughs> Again, we, we do have a pool policy in place. We are still working on some of the details, but part of our pool policy at Glen Meadow states that we have a certified pool operator, uh, which is Mark. John also is very, um, very good with the pool stuff. So, but that is something that we have to have in this space. There will also be a phone in case there's an emergency and the spa itself has an emergency stop on it. So we're very aware of the safety issues there. Um, a question that came up last time was the floor and the tile. And is it slippery? So I get these words right. The coefficient grit of the tile is so that when the tile gets wet, it is not slippery. So think of maybe like a fine, like a sandpaper. It won't feel like that on your feet. But if it does get wet, it, it allows for it to not be slippery. And we, we do know that people will have shoes, no shoes coming through this space. We would like to encourage folks, if you're going to use just the patio to go through the fitness studio side, one for safety, but if the floor is wet, we don't want to be tracking you know mud and dirt leaves, things like that through the pool. Um, but that, so the ceilings in this space are actually really interesting. So now you're all familiar with the, the fabric acoustic, acoustic ceilings in the dining room. These are very similar. However, these are made specifically to handle wet, humid spaces. So in between the large wood beams, there's fabric ceiling tiles. They're acoustical, they're uh, mounted on aluminum brackets that don't rust and they have special batting behind them to help absorb any of the moisture. So we don't have to worry about the ceilings getting moldy or having to be cleaned. Um, they're really kind of cool. The ceilings in the rest of the space are very similar to the ones that are in the uh, dining room now. Let's see. Just looking to see if I missed any questions from last time. 
Any questions on the pool or the hot tub? All right. So before, oh, so this is. Oh, yes, Connie. Are there certain hours? So that is something that we're working on. Um, when you know our our utmost area of focus is our residents. So residents have first choice of the pool always. Uh, but as far as guests and staff, things like that, we're still kind of working on the fine details of how that works. But residents always will have first priority to use this space. Um, and then we have our outdoor patio here. It's beautiful. The view is gorgeous. It overlooks the woods in the back. Um, and as you can see, there are a couple tables with multiple chairs. I see this space being utilized a lot. Yes? I noticed um, in my apartment when I'm looking at the poolside, there's some frosted glass. Is that going to stay frosted? What was the question? Cheryl said that from her apartment, she noticed that there's some frosted glass on the pool side. Yeah, just just um, like halfway. So I was wondering for privacy. So right now, that's just a film, I oh, believe. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, we can check on it, but I'm pretty sure just like in the um, dining room, how there is frosted glass up to like where your legs are because you know, there's a woman was sitting there at the table. We don't want anyone walking on the Yeah, I kind of like, but I don't think it's going to be all the way. Yeah, I believe it's only a portion of the way. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but I didn't know if it was permanent or not. I believe so. And then this wall here is actually all windows, floor to ceiling windows. So between the pool to the patio. So if you're in the pool, you've got a beautiful view of of the outside. The hot tub will be really nice when it's snowing out. Yes, Gail. I must be getting thirsty, but I wonder if there's going to be a, a water container in a patio, for instance. So I don't believe there's one on the patio, but there is one um, in the gym space and as well as the fitness space, I believe. They're, they're built into the wall, similar to the ones we have in the hallways here in the main corridor. Right. Yes, any other questions on the pool or the spa? Oh, I have one more thing to say about the pool as part of our policy. And, um, in our policy, it states that we ask folks to take a shower in the pool. Um, if for some reason the pool becomes contaminated, whether it's incontinence of urine or feces, we actually have to drain the pool and sanitize it and then refill it and re-chemical it. So not only is it expensive, but it would put the pool out of commission for four to six days. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> and this is just a, a side view. I know you, you all like the details of the flooring that is in the fitness studio. So there actually is a, a very low pile carpet in the fitness studio. Um, much not as squishy as the carpet in here that you're used to, but um, it just has a little tiny bit of flocking to it. And it's really made mostly for um, sound absorption as well as safety so that it's not slippery. All right. Any questions? Yes. In the exercise room, where are people going to store their wheelchairs and walkers? In our fitness room with the room with the equipment. Mm -hmm. That is a good question. I would um, just off the cuff say probably around the perimeter of the room because it is so large. But that is definitely something we need to think about or right next to them, similar how it is here in Coates Hall. There is so much space in there. Any other questions? Some people will need them there. Mm -hmm. Right. There's definitely enough space right now with the equipment that we have. If we had multiple people in there with walkers or a wheelchair, they would be able to keep those right in that space. Anything else? We have one more thing we want to show you, so don't get up and go anywhere just yet. We've put together a little video sneak peek of the new space. Just want to adjust our volume. Okay, let's go. door that brought us to the pool earlier before our construction. Beautiful nice blue color 
This is my office space, a massage room, a nice big bathroom. And then we're heading right back down the vestibule and taking a left into the locker room.
working out the details for it. Yes. No, but those windows are kind of 